welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Shandalar. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I'm still playing that green deck. So let's go in here. Um, and if I remember correctly, what I want to do or what I was doing this episode was trying to go east. Uh, trying to get that world magic, that ring, I think, if I remember correctly. And I also read some comments with some advice to simply try to defeat more white minions and then I have a bigger chance of defeating the white wizard. So that's also something I'm gonna do. But first I'm gonna travel east all the way over here, try to find a world magic, do some fighting in between and try to pick up some good red spells basically because I feel like my red green deck really needs some upgrades. Uh, but before I dive into Chandelar further, first a message from our amazing sponsor, 3 for one Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 3 for one Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and we are back and ready to dive into the next mission. Let's see if we can buy some good cards. Let's have a look. Lots of green stuff. I got, I've got enough green mana, I feel. Trade green amulets for any sorceries. Mwah. Do I really want to do that now? I'm just going to leave the village and let's see what deck I have again. Yeah, still that red green deck. I'm just going to leave the village and... You know, try to find exactly. I'm gonna go for Ring of the Guardian. That's the name, Ring of the Guardian. So I'm just gonna try to go uh, travel east to try to pick it up. Ring of the Guardian, yes. Oh man. Of course, my first opponent, being a high priest, that doesn't even give me any anti, so I can only lose. What a great start of today's campaign. And I really don't want to lose that uh, ice storm, by the way. My hand's not too bad. Mountain, Taiga, City of Brass. And I've got an Untamed Wilds for Ramp, so. And I've got enough control. Let's just start with Mountain. I'm not really happy with this Savannah Lions turn one. <laughs> oh, that's, that's gonna hurt. Wow, it's gonna take at least three more turns before I can really cast anything useful. So then I'm on 14. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm even lower. Um, hmm, I could go Fireball here. I'm thinking, because the next turn... I think this may sound odd, but I think I'm going to go for Fireball. And the reason is I'm going so slow. I've got such a slow hand. Like I can play Giant Spider a turn early because of Untamed Wilds. Well, actually not a turn early, but that's coming up. I've got Pyrotechnics I can cast to kill some smaller stuff. So I think it's good to now kind of save that damage, um, right? Because now I'm going to cast Untamed Wilds. I'm going to get a green. And then next turn I can drop uh, land number five. I can cast Pyrotechnics, so. Oh, Dingus Egg. Oh, it's this Dingus Egg deck again. Oh, not again. Not again, the Dingus Egg. Uh, okay, let's go Pyrotechnics. One, two. Let's deal a damage to the priest. Okay, there we go. So I think the Fireball was worth it. The one point Fireball. And then next turn, I can play like Giant Spider. I just have to hope that he doesn't have like Dingus Egg and that stuff. I love this combination, by the way, Dingus Egg and, and White Mana Battery. That is really cool. That is something you don't see anymore. Uh, let's go Factory. Let's go Giant Spider. Let's go Lanawar Elves. This is actually pretty good. Like, I can hit him for three next turn. I'm not sure if I should... I don't even have four green, do I? But I'm not quite... I don't feel secure enough to play a force. Oh, Armageddon! Oh, look at that! Dropping to three! Oh, man, this is bad. 
Yeah. But if 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 he doesn't find any lands, and I can just attack him for three every turn. I mean, he's on a five turn clock, right? So he does, of course, have the white mana battery you can tap for white. So he's got two white at the moment. Oh, man. Okay, he's not playing anything out. I'm happy. Let's just attack. Put him on 12. I'm just hoping to find some lands. I really don't want to lose the Ice Storm. I mean, the whole idea of my deck is Untamed Wilds Ice Storm. Oh man, this is bad. Uh, I feel like I got to keep it on tap now. I'm on three, I have to. If he has a Swords to Plowshares, I'm, I'm really in deep, 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 deep uh, trouble. Keep fingers crossed. Holy strength! Okay, that's not as bad, actually. So at least I can block on the spider. If he has another holy strength, I'm, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, a mountain. Happy with that. Let's just attack here. Put him on 11. So next, if I can find another land, I can play Untamed Wilds. I can find Neverworld's Disc. You know? Okay, he's attacking again. Sure. Battling this High Priest is so annoying because you know that you're not going to get a reward. so hard to defeat them. Okay, a mess of Pegasus. Oh, force of nature, oh man. Um, You know what, I'm gonna keep it untapped. Let's just see what he does. Is he gonna attack in a band? That would be really bad, oh no. Okay, he's not attacking in a band. Um. I, I know this is a bit weird, but I think I'm going to do it like this. And I know I'm going to lose a mana, but... Oh, this is, this is a bad start of today. I hope this is not like a bad omen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I was, now he's got two. God, this is so bad. I'm so going to lose. All I can hope for is that the AI, for whatever reason, thinks, okay, I'm not going to attack with the 2-2 White Knight because it can be blocked to death by the spider, so I'm only going to attack my 3-4. Maybe, right? I think that's my only hope. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I've got one last turn, right? I can block this, go to one. <clears throat> I'm gonna lose that ice storm. And I worked so hard to collect those ice storms. They're not easy to find. Come on, give me a break. You know what, I'm just gonna attack. Whatever, man, I don't care. It is cool to see Dingusak Armageddon in a white weenie build again. You know, it's it's been a while. Yeah, whatever. The Setch Beast. Sure, I'll I'll duel duel the Setch Beast. Okay, what can I do? Mountain, Nevernorals Disc, Fireball, Mountain, Spider, Taiga, Pyrotechnics. Okay, um, let's go Mountain. Pass the turn. Okay, let's go Factory. Let's put that separate. I mean, if I don't draw into Lanora Elves or Untamed Wilds, my deck's quite uh, slow. 
Especially if you start stripping away my lands. Uh, let's go mountain. Let's do this. Let's put it separate again. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack. I don't think he's got a lightning bolt. I don't believe he has a bolts in his deck. There we go. So he's on 14. It's just annoying. So I can go Taiga. I'm just going to animate it again. Oh. Change to assembly worker. Let's attack. If I can just find one more land, I'm actually pretty good. I can play Dancing Scimitar, Giant Spider, Gem de Tome. I guess my deck is a little bit mana hungry, right? But aren't those the most fun decks when you like can cast the bigger spells? Oi, 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 the Uftum Troll. Um, you know what? I'm gonna kill it. because he cannot regenerate it. Got to do it straight away. I got my precious crawl worm, but six mana seems so costly at the moment. Oh, another troll, yeah, makes sense. Oh, no mana again? Oh, sorry guys, I'm getting salty. I'm getting a little salty. I'll try not to. We're 10 minutes in, I'm already salty. That's not good, not good. No, don't do it, no! Oh God. Um, yeah, of course, oh, it's auto-tapping the mountain. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh God, this is so bad. And now I draw my own Sedge. Of course I do. Oh God, I'm just gonna pass. At least I've got 22 life and he only has 12, so. Select a card to discard. God, are you serious? <sighs> so it can pump itself, make it a 3 3, then it doesn't deal damage, but it also doesn't die. Those are the old rules. When I was young, um, then let's play the Uftum Troll. Okay, at least finding a land, that's good. I'm gonna take the damage because I cannot regenerate the troll, so. Oh, he's also discarding. Okay, that's good news. And now I've got mana number four. Hmm. I am. Let's play Giant Spider. Attack with the troll. I was kind of thinking about Nefenerol's disc. But I'm fine like this. Um, okay, let's just organize my lands again. Let's go. Ooh, Pyrotech is not really gonna do anything. I guess a scimitar. Let's play a scimitar. Let's attack with the spider. Yeah, so obviously I should have tapped differently, but I double clicked, I'm lazy, but I should have tapped differently, keeping a red open so I could also attack with the often troll here. So I kind of missed an opportunity. I mean, it probably would have blocked, but still. Oh, uh, strip mine, so can we stop stripping my stuff? Of course not. Jesus. I want to cast my crawl worm, man. Okay, I'm gonna go for, I'm first gonna attack. Um, I actually should have attacked with the scimitar as well in hindsight. Or only with the, yeah, I don't know. Oh, now he's attacking with his creature. That's interesting. Um, you know what? I'm going to go full in. Because he's on six. Sometimes I forget that in certain matchups, I have such a huge advantage because I'm starting with 20 plus life, which is nice. Great, okay, so the, the saltiness has healed. 
I'm a fearsome wizard. What do I get? I can't read it. I'm getting something. Let's go in here. Begin a quest. Two blue amulets. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. Um, I think I'm going to sell some stuff. So, so. I've got multiple of those. Okay, sell two, whatever. Sell, sell. I'm just gonna, I know when you go to different, um, I play with Psionic Blast in, in real life. It's a really good card. I know some people say you gotta go to villages that, you know, pay that price and you can get more for your cards. I understand, but I just wanna play magic and just sell these cards quickly. Oh Lord, this is so cool. I cannot sell these cards. I'm probably going to make a deck with it one day. For people that don't know, by the way, if you're just, just jumping in this video, um, this is the second season of Chandelar. And for the second season, I gave myself the goal to play with green as my main color and have red as my support color because I think those colors are the most difficult colors to play with um, because you don't have contract from below, you don't have blue power, and you don't have the white, like, Disenchants and swords and balance cards and Sarah Angel. So I figured, you know, let's uh, let's let's make it challenging. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go further east. Accept tribute for your mercy. Here, here we go. Uh, three green jewels. Sure. Whoa! Did you see that creature? What was that? Oh, it's two walking together. I thought it was one. Like. A vampire with a cape. That looked kind of odd, didn't it? Um, take this message west. He will reward you with the black amulet. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going east, my man. I'm going east. Talking about that, my deck is has only has 59 cards. So I've lost an ice storm, which I don't have extra, right? No. So annoying. Um... Shall I play Hurricane? I'll play Hurricane. Oh, Duel the Necromancer. Again, one of the stronger, like, servants. Necromancer is the strongest, right? Of the Black Wizard, I think. Oh, look at my hand. Okay, at least I'm drawing another land. But one Force Warman Fireball Force Dirk Wooden Scimitar Gem Daytona. Okay. My deck is really has a lot of expensive spells to cast, by the way. I probably need to change that, but. Or just find more ramp. But I think I'm already playing four Lanwer Elves, right? Or am I. Do I have three only? I need to check. Check that. Uh, okay, Wall of Bone. Wall of Bone. Turn three and I still haven't done anything. Like, this deck is really mediocre. <laughs> if I can find a land, I can play Dancing Scimitar and fly over the Wall of Bone. I recently played against a deck. Uh, this guy played Wall of Bone in combination with Pestilence. Very classic uh, combination. Um, let's do Lightning Bolt on the Zombie Master. Ooh, Untamed Wild. Yes, please. I guess we gotta go for a mountain, because we only have two forests and only one mountain. Pass a turn. Okay, so now I can, next turn, go for Dancing Scimitar, start dealing some damage. Look at his life, by the way. He starts on 27. 27! Lost Soul. Ooh, that's good. It's got Swamp Walker. Mm. I'm gonna do Darkwood Boars. No, I'm gonna Scimitar. Yeah, of course. Now it's unblockable. Very clever. So one of the things I could do, but I don't want to lose two lands, is strip my own evil present land and then block with Scimitar and kill the soul. I think that works. Um, but I'm not going to do that now. 
Oh, what to do, what to do? Um, you know what? I'm gonna go dirt wars. Gonna attack with this one. I mean, at a certain point in this game, I'm sure I gotta play like Fireball and Lost Soul and maybe another target. Oh no, Bad Moon! Yeah, now I really gotta kill the Lost Soul. Oh, this is annoying. Another one, uh-oh. Okay, let me check. I've got five mana, so I'm missing one mana to play a double fireball. Next turn, I'll take six if I don't do anything. Um, I think I'm gonna go jam they tone. And I'm just gonna hope that I'm gonna find another land. Guess I can just attack with this one. If he finds another bad moon, I'll take eight next turn. Like that's really bad. Six is bad. I'm on 11. Hmm. Another one. Oh God, I think I really have to strip my, my own. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, what I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, that's a forest. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm gonna strip my own evil presence. Sorry, my own s land that's enchanted with evil presence. Gonna play a forest. Gonna pass turn. I probably should have waited until he attacked with everything and then destroyed it. And I'm still in a pretty... Okay, at least he's not attacking anymore. That's something. Uh, City of Brass, man. It's not great. Uh, let's do don't auto tap. Mm, I'm gonna go giant spider. I'm just gonna build on my defenses and I know there's a certain point where he's gonna draw into another evil presence. So I have to, ooh, look at that, it's a five four. Wow, that's cool. Ah, oh, there's a disintegrate. I just gotta, I need, if I have one more fireball, I could kill two of those. I'm also gonna go disintegrate. I think I'm just gonna kill a lost soul here. Because there's just too big of a chance that he draws into, um, I'm gonna attack with this one. That he draws into an evil presence and then can attack me for nine, right? So now at least he can only attack me for six, which is still big, but less than nine. Oh, the Cosmic Horror! What a champion! This is so cool. So first striker seven seven. During your upkeep, pay six. Wow. Oh wow, this is so cool. I mean, it's bad news for me, but it's so cool. Ooh, I got a disc. Uh, let's see, it doesn't have trample, does it? Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna. One. Two, three, four. Okay, so I just gotta survive one turn. Just gotta survive one turn. Okay, um, I'll block on the spider, because why not? So cool that this card is so epic. Such a cool card. Um, okay. Oh, I could also cast Force of Nature, do Force on Cosmic Horror. That's kind of cool. It's probably better to use my Nevenrose disc. You know what? I'm gonna attack with everything, which sounds impressive, but it's only two creatures. Ah. Uh, And I think I'm going to pop the disc now. Yeah, let's do that now. Could draw an extra card as well. Or pop the disc, play War Mammoth. That's probably better. Let's pop the disc. And then we go War Mammoth. So the reason to do it now is because he didn't have any black mana left to uh, regenerate his uh, Wall of Bone. So I think this is a good move. Mm, oh, and now I can play Force of Nature. Oh, that's cool. But if I play Force, I take a damage of... Who cares? Who cares? 
I mean, I'm swinging him in. I'm swinging in for eight damage. Who cares about the the upkeep cost? Let's do some smashing. Yeah, that one zombie master is not gonna gonna help him. Okay, uh, pay upkeep cost. Ooh, attack with the force. Okay, um, you know what? I'm going to play Lawn War. Pass turn. Evil Presence is back. Ooh, is that, that could be a problem. I think I still have enough. Mana. Pay one, okay. I'm gonna attack, let's go. Another lot of else, because then it can still pay the cost, even if you place another evil presence. I mean, I'm on eight right now, so if I cannot pay the upkeep, keep one turn, then I'm gonna die to my own force of nature, so. Oh, Cosmic Horror is back. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I love this game. It's, it's so cool that he's playing Cosmic Horror. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna attack. And he ha I, I'm gonna attack like this because he has to use his Cosmic Horror to block the force of nature, so. I should have attacked with my lawnmower. I'm so bad at magic, but I can kill him with the fireball. It doesn't matter. Um, I could just put the damage on here, right? Then he dies as well. Yay, trample damage. Begin a quest to Unicorn Spire. They want me to go west, but I'm going east. Further east we go. The Crusader. Duel the Crusader. Oh, well, that looks like a good hand. City of Brass, Soul Ring. Oh, Library of Alexandria, wow. That is pretty sweet. So he's starting with the Banalish. I'm starting with the Library. That's how we roll. Um, and then I'm gonna pass. On his end step, I'm gonna draw an extra card with the Loa. The computer is thinking, oh, a rainbow knight, that's cool. Protection from green, okay. That's actually pretty useful against me. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Eight cards in hand, card number nine. I'm gonna go City of Brass. I'm gonna cast a soul ring. And I'm gonna take a beating next turn. I'm just gonna take it easy. I, I feel like I can, maybe a cockatrice is five. I can fireball next turn. I mean, I got my options. I think for now I should be patient. What I like about Rainbow Knights, which I think is really funny, is the random pump. So you can do plus zero, plus zero, plus one, plus O, or plus two, plus O. And it's random, it's just, it's hilarious. I also think, you know, honestly, when they're called Rainbow Knights, their clothes are not that colorful, you know? When I think of Rainbow Knights, I have a different picture than these these two. They seem, they seem a little bit boring, to be honest. Like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here, whatever. They don't look like Rainbow Knights, right? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, draw card number nine. Okay, um... What to do? I could go Giant Spider. I think it's probably best. Let's go Giant Spider. Make because I'm green. Oh, wait, of course, stupid. 
protection from green. I should have cast a scimitar. Hmm. Exactly, you're going to attack with that one. Makes sense. Oh, you're feeling clever now, don't you, Mr. Knight? Uh, Pikeman, wow, he's really building up that army. Let's draw a card. I love how flavorful the decks are, right? Battering Ram, Pikeman, Vanilla Shiro, Rainbow Knights. It all makes sense. Uh, let's see, what can I do? Let's play this one. Let's play Scimitar. I know I'm playing a little bit conservative, but that's because of my Loa, right? I can just play very slow. Ooh! Add random power! Ooh, it's a 4 1. It's a 4 1 first striker, okay. Uh, oh man, I forgot to draw a card in this end step. Stupid. Let's do it now. Draw a card. Okay, let's go forest. Um, let's go cockatrice. Boom. Let's make it green. At least with cockatrice, I can start attacking because he's got no flyers, so that's something. And I mean, I've got two fireballs, so I can always go. Oh, and that pyrotechnics is looking really good on this board, by the way. Wow, that pyrotechnics is very strong. Uh oh, sorts of plowshares. That's annoying. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta kill this rainbow, boring rainbow knights. Can you imagine how cool you could have made the art of rainbow knights? I mean, come on. Ooh, that's a scimitar, that's good. Um, okay, let's go Taiga. Let's draw a card because, hey, we're playing unfair, apparently. Um, I'm gonna go Pyrotechnics. A red. Two, and then tap two from the Soul Ring. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, killing everything. Ha ha ha. And then I'm going to attack with my cockatrice. And you remember cockatrice has this thicket ability. Right? So if you if whatever creature blocks it or when when a creature gets blocked by cockatrice, it uh, gets destroyed. Oh, green ward. What a boss. He's got a green ward. Respect the green ward. Um Oh yeah, let's draw a card before I forget. Um, let's play Trike. Sorry, Benelli Shiro. Let's attack. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Giant Badger, such a cool card. Mm. Oh, Force of Nature. Oh, if you can play the Force, you gotta play the Force, right? Um, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Let's attack. We can now just attack with everything because I've got the force to block anyway. It's gonna drop to six. I think, by the way, Dancing Scimitar is a good card. Maybe you should see some more play. It's a decent card, right? Oh, Swords of Plowshares. What? But I have bad news for you, Mr. Knight, because I've got another force of nature right here. Yeah. 
Let's attack again. Oh, I think he's dead already. He's on six. Oh, okay. Hey, I won the cards. What am I getting? This white knight in my deck? Is that even helpful? You happen upon it? Eh? Ooh, you may buy amulets for 200 gold pieces. I want a white amulet. Want a white amulet? How much money? I've got a lot of money. Wow. Let's buy a black one, white one. Let's go to 10. Okay. Ooh, oh cool, I can win a cockatrice? I love a cockatrice. Uh, Duel the Forest Dragon. Wow, that was good. I was able to buy, like what, eight of those uh, white diamonds? White amulets? Should I maybe spend all my money on, on amulets there? Let me know in the comments. I think maybe I should have. Um, yeah, I gotta take a mulligan here. Oh, I got the white knight to start with. That is cool. Um, let's go City of Brass into Lanawar. Then next turn I can play Untamed Wilds. This is kind of what the deck wants to do, right? Like ramping up in the turbo. Let's go white knight. Let's go white knight. Let's go. Okay, I started the episode a little bit, little bit salty, but now I'm back. I'm positive Tim. Life is good. I can't complain. Let's go. Ooh, I could go first Sylvan and I can check out the cards before I cast an Untamed next turn. Because Untamed and Sylvan, it's kind of like a, a combo because Untamed Wilds let, lets you shuffle your library. So then the next turn you can look at an, a, top, a new top three cards. Um, okay, so Sylvan. Let's see, put it back on library. Let's see, what are we going to do? Um, ooh, I think I'm just going to draw an extra card because I want, I want it all. I'm going to pay for life. Yeah, because I want to play out the land. And now I'm going to untamed wilds and then Hmm, I cannot do both. I cannot and I storm and untamed wilds, but I'm gonna untamed wilds. I'm gonna do it. Let's go for a forest. Then I can attack with the knight. And I mean next I can I can ice storm next turn. I think I've got enough mana to do that. Oh, I should have clicked on, I should have clicked on a card. Uh, annoying. Okay, it's a four, so it wouldn't have mattered that much. Um, let's go Untamed Wilds again. One, two. Um, let's find another forest. Let's go Ice Storm. One, two, three. Destroy land. Let's attack with the white knights. Okay, don't forget to click. Put back on library. What do we want? Um, hmm. You know what? We. I'm just gonna go for more mana because. I want to play out that force of nature. Let's play out the force. This is really what my deck wants to do, right? So I'm ramping up and he's basically ramping down because of my land destruction. Oh, look at this sandstorm. Oh, killing my Lanawar elves. I respect that play. <laughs> Sandstorm, one of those cards where I think maybe I should play that in uh, in the sideboard more often when I'm playing green. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot the Sylvan. Why? So random. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill him now anyway, so... Let's attack for 12. Hey! Yeah, please give me the cards. War Mage. Oh, this is this is the top dog of the um, of the Red Wizard, right? Wow, I'm I'm battling all the bad guys today. I've taken on the priest. I've taken on the what was it? The skeleton vampire dude. Now I'm taking on the War Mage. I'd love to play first. Okay, start the duel. I've got a forest, ice storm, forest, city of brass. Lanawar, Strip, Giant Spider. Okay, so I've got a very mana-heavy hand, but I don't mind. Like, I've got some options next turn. I could go Strip Mine, Strip a land, or I could go uh, Ice... Oh, I should probably do Ice Storm, by the way. Oh, no! He's killing my... Lanawar Elves. Why? That's the thing with these strategies. When you count on the Lanawar Elves or uh, Birds of Paradise... You know, lightning bolt is a problem. Ooh, there's a mana vault. What are you gonna do with the mana vault? Um, I'm gonna go strip mine, but I'm not gonna strip because I'm gonna ice storm. I'm gonna take care of your mountain. And then next turn, I gotta make a decision, go city of brass spider or go strip another mountain. You know, the reason that I've, I've got a mountain here, so I think I'm going to strip this mountain. I really want to win this tempo game, but look at that. He's got a lot of mountains. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's go giant spider here. I mean, I can have another giant spider I can cast next turn. Oh, earthquake for five. That's annoying. That's annoying also because he starts on a higher life total. And I'm taking damage from my own City of Brass. That City of Brass and Chandelar, I find it a pretty tricky card to play with. I think I've got two in my deck now. I think that's kind of the max that you want to play with in Chandelar. Okay, let's just, let's first just attack. Let's just, let's just attack. Let's do here, don't auto tap. Exactly, let's play Giant Badger. Let's pass. Oh, of course, Lightning Bolt. Sure, man. Oh, Bull Lightning. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Bull Lightning. I play Bull Lightning in my... I've got a Goblin deck. Uh, Bull Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, and then Goblins. It's, it's, such a, it's a cool deck to, to play with from time to time. For me, like Mono Red is one of those decks that just, it's so classical. It's really cool to play Mono Red Goblins every once in a while, but I couldn't like always play the deck. Like I need some kind of diversity. Uh, okay, we've got Taiga. I'm just gonna attack. I just wanna keep this Lightning Bolt in hand for when he plays another Bull Lightning. I can Lightning Bolt the Bull Lightning. I've always felt that Bolt Lightning should have protection from Lightning Bolt. Or if you Lightning Bolt it, that would be even more flavorful, that it gets plus 3 plus 0. Because it becomes a bigger Bolt. Or maybe you could say it doubles the power, so it becomes 12. That would be quite cool, because then you would also play Lightning Bolt on your own Bolt Lightning. Okay, so he's on nine. I've got two pyrotechnics. They can deal four damage each. I've got a lightning bolt. So I think, ooh, mana flare. Oh, detonate. Okay, 
Okay, I gotta think. I gotta think. I gotta think. I could bolt him here, put him on five, put him on three, finish him with pyrotechnics. Uh, I think I should do that. Okay. Uh, let me first attack. Pyrotechnics. Okay. Um, done. I'll get mana burn. Hey, winning the game. Just gonna save because it's happened a few times that I had glitches. Let's see where I'm at. Uh, I'm here. Oh, I'm getting a lot. I'm getting east, very far east. What was that place called again? Mill, something with mill, right? Hmm, I see nothing with mill on the in the east. It's gonna continue going east, whatever. Uh, begin a quest. Take this east to my brother. Where's Andor's hole? Okay, well I'm going east anyway, so I will accept your quest. Buy cards. Ooh, lots of green stuff. Gotta buy Marsh Viper. Channel Fireball, that's cool. I think I already have a channel, right? Or not? Stream of Life, maybe for in the. Uh, I'll buy. I'll buy everything. Whatever. Um. Speak to the wise man. A wanderer who is wise and cautious interrogates creatures defeated in duels. The more details you know before entering, and then that's it. But probably before entering a castle, the better. I leave the duel. No, 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 no. I don't want to play uh, fight against you. Ah. Oh. So now the summoner. Ugh. This game is annoying. I just keep playing against these like top dogs that don't give any ante. Okay, let's see what I got. Pyrotechnic, soaring is good. Mountain, mountain soaring is good, but I'm missing green mana, right? Trike, untamed wilds. Jam day tom, dirtwood boars. Gotta take out the boars for the um, cockatrice, by the way. <laughs> it is so annoying because like you cannot pay them off. You don't get any anti prices for defeating these uh, these top dogs. Uh, six in hand and nothing. <laughs> I read I read somewhere that you should have a deck in Chandler with like low casting cost creatures because or just spells because you know you're gonna get mana screwed an X amount of games. Um, and yes that makes sense, but it's just so much fun to just play these other cards. Um let's go Untamed Wilds. Go for another forest and pass turn. Oh, COP green. That is annoying. Hmm. <laughs> That's a serious problem. Yes, I have some red cards, I guess. Um, shall I? Oh, I can go trike. Let's go trike. I wanted, I, I wanted to say, shall I go Dirkwood boards? And when he taps out, he can just attack with the boards because I'm sure that's going to happen. Um, but this is better, the trike. Hmm, I got you on spirit. Okay. So he's playing white and green. So I wonder if he's got some white and green uh, shenanigans. Nirachan Spirit works together really well with Hurricane and COP Green because Hurricane deals X damage to all flying creatures. So with Rachan Spirit, you can make sure that your flying creature loses flying so it doesn't take damage from the Hurricane. It's pretty neat, a neat trick. Also, if you have If Biff Fleet, if you know what that card does, combine that with Rachan Spirit, it's pretty funny. actually a deck that I should make. 
Because Rajon Spirit is again one of those cards that just hardly sees any play, but this, it's a pretty cool card. Ooh, the computer is thinking disenchant. What? Um, of course, I'm going to respond. Do up two damage there and one damage there. Whatever, man. Um, I'm going to go Gem Detone. I just want to start drawing extra cards. Let's let's just attack, see what she does. I assume she knows how to see if the green works, but just kind of testing here her skills. Back in the day when I was a little Tim, uh, we used to have a rule that you couldn't play with Circle of Protections because we just thought they were boring. Uh, but also your um, fireballs, like your direct damage, you can play directly on the players, so only on the creatures. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm just gonna attack again, why not? I mean, it's tempting to play Pyrotechnics, kill the Birds of Paradise, deal three damage to the opponent, but I want to be patient, you know? Oh, I wish I had done that. Oh man, this is a problem. <laughs> Force of nature. Oh, uh, let me think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I don't have enough for a fireball. Oh, I have my own force of nature. The problem, of course, is that, that she's got a COP green. Hmm. I think I'm gonna attack with Dirkwood Boards and Force of Nature next turn, right? Because I've got Berserk. Do I have enough green for that? Can I pull that off? I only have four green. You know what? I'm not gonna pay the upkeep cost. Don't pay upkeep cost. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little risk here because I want to be able to play the Berserk. Um, I'm gonna attack. Oh, it's gonna trade. Okay, okay. I didn't see that coming. Okay, sure. What I thought would happen was that he would block the force on the Dirkwood and would prevent the damage from COP Green. And then I wanted to put the Berserk on the Dirkwood. So then um, exchange Dirkwood Boars for his force of nature or her force of nature, I should say. Uh, but okay, this is, I mean, this is a similar effect. Um, and I'm not gonna play Pyrotechnics. because I don't want her to play another force. And now she's gonna go land drop, force of nature. That would be really bad. Don't do that, please. It is a nice, you know, it is a nice deck. Four Force of Nature, four Hurricane, CLP Green. It's good. Okay, Lana or Elves. Mm, I think I'm gonna go Scimitar and then on his end step, I'm gonna draw an extra card with the Tome, I think. Or I should do it now, because if I find a forest, I can play the Lana or oh, yeah, Disintegrate, fair enough. Pass the turn. Yeah. 
ooh, for a moment there, I thought it was frozen. I'm like, I'm not seeing anything happening. I mean, these are nice games, but like I said, the fact that you don't get like an award, like an anti-card at the end, it's kind of a bummer. Um, okay, uh, let's first just draw an extra card, see what happens. I think I've got so much direct damage now that I can even think about just burning my opponent out. Let's first attack with the scimitar, so put her on 18. Uh, let's cast this one too. Forest, mountain, factory. Ooh, hurricane for three. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Oh, was it a bigger? I thought it was a hurricane for three. Okay, it was bigger, I guess. Oh, but now I can attack. Whoa, I can do a big attack now. I'm going to kill... The War Mammoth. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack with everything. Going to play the Berserk on the Dirkwood. Hey, and now you're on two, and I'm going to Fireball. Um... Do a fireball for two. One and two and fireball for two. Bye bye, summoner. Bye bye. It's been fun. Now please leave me alone. Upon a. Ooh, which card do you seek? Really? Okay, Shivan Dragon. Shivan Dragon. No, I just spent all my money out. Oh, no. Okay, let's think. I need at least Lightning Bolt. Is Lightning Bolt affordable? Oh, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. Oh, it's expensive though. Oh, let's go to green. Let's go green. Ice Storm. Because I need Ice Storm number four again. Oh, it's too expensive. This is so annoying. I just spent my money to buy the jewels, to buy the gems. God, this is so annoying. Um, I'm just going to go for a lightning bolt then. Oh, now I'm broke. I'm so broke. Is there anything useful I can buy green or... Oh, there's not really anything I need. Wild growth, maybe? Sylvan is too expensive, probably. Yeah. Hmm. Giant Grove? I have Giant Groves already. Lan oh, Lance, of course. Oh, but I just don't have the money. I need another Taiga. It's only 260. Oh, should have checked that first. Um, creatures, are there any creatures I would like to buy? Maybe Thicket? How expensive is a Thicket? Thicket is a good one. Yes, I'll trade, okay. Done. Ah, that's uh, annoying. No, 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 no. Don't attack me again. I already battled you, Summoner. Okay, black cards go east. The card seller suggests if you can buy Merc Dwellers with Thomas's Wand. I know it's unblockable. I know. Okay, let's sell some cards. Let's sell some stuff. Of course, my black army. Uh, Chaos Lace. I'm never gonna play that anyway. Ah, uh, Eternal Warrior. No, I wanna. I wanna play that with uh, Colossal Sardian. Why do you wanna do that? Because it's cool. Um, okay, let's do a Lightning Bolt. Maybe take out the Fisher. Uh, and then green, I need to look at green. I'm gonna take out my War Mammoth. I'm gonna take out my Dirkwood Boars. 
put in carpet trace and thicket. So I've got four Lana Rails, that's good. And three Ice Storm, okay, fair enough. Um, let's save. I actually think this is it for now. Um, I guess next week I will have to continue on my mission. I'm here, I gotta go here. I'll do that next week and try to collect the world magic. I, I think this was a pretty good run. I won a lot of battles. Um, bought some good cards. I've got 10 of those white rubies, gems, whatever they're called. So that's really useful. So I'm pretty happy. Um, before you go, if you've enjoyed this episode, please take a moment to like, share and comment on your socials. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. And if you're not a patron yet, please become one. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks so you can support the channel financially as well and become a patron of the Timmy Talks community. Um, that's it. Now let's go to the end scroll. Okay, uh, I saved already. So yeah, this was a good run. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.